Oh, it's a big closet. It, it, actually, there's a, in the the dining room in there. You can see there's a door next to the front door. There's another door. Mm -hmm. That door leads into this room, and it's all doored off. Oh wow! Uh -huh. And we actually had a weird thing happen with that. I was uh, it not paranormal, just weird. Uh, I uh, I helped renovate the house, and that was all sealed up. And after we had it all primed, like we came in one day. And I can actually show you. Someone came and like tried to saw that door open. We have no idea who it was. And it, like there was sawdust everywhere, all over oh, the fresh man. paint. Huh. And we have no idea who it was. Or the door leads to nowhere. It was it was just a weird thing. But yeah, um, yeah. These are all books I sell. These are all books that are listed on my eBay uh -oh. store. Okay. Anything? Else, anything? Not out of the ordinary. But then upstairs is the uh, two more rooms. Aww. Actually, those are messier than this room. They're so cute. This is Snuggles, <laughs> this is Cuddles, and this is Sugar. Aww. <laughs> it's like I will stand on this side of the room. <laughs> Mom had like two or three snakes growing up when I was younger. Oh my God. So. <laughs> This is the right now, so use the mess. So from what I understand, this was the room that the priest stayed in. That was the original window. I feel stuff in my head. All the other windows have been replaced in the house <clears throat> except for that one. Um, that's this room. This is a bunch of stuff I tried. So this here. is where it's one a little of the dizzy priests, up here. As far as I know, this but. is what I was told is the priest stayed in this room. Right. Okay. And that's why there's the arched window. Right Do there. you happen to have a name? No. No. I'm assuming there was more than one. Right. Yeah. Well, I know from what I, like I said, I pulled up an 1858 map. And M. Far, Farrand, F A R R A N D, on the property. Okay, there's a place called Farron Hall that's not too far from here. That's like a, on okay. Farron Road. I'm sure that's all tied together. It's hard to breathe up here. This is like when I first moved in, kind of got like, it's like didn't like coming up here at first. Just, but <clears throat> I don't know. I come up here all the time now and got over it. It's <clears throat> all the weird shit has happened downstairs. Like, you know, as far as, you know, well, like that's I, where, like, where, where we are at. So. Um, and there's one more room back here. There's the attic access. I don't know if you want it now. <laughs> it's behind all this crap. After the basement? No. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Unless somebody was a uh, murderer and stuffed bodies in there. No, they sure they would have went for the basement. I'm sure. Sure of it. Oh, there's your setup. Your phone. Yeah, this is uh, my prop rooms where I practice. And yeah, I, you know, until you contacted us, I did not know this that Colon was the magic yeah. capital of the world. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. The way Colon got that <laughs> moniker was that Harry Blackstone settled here. And here. when he settled here, he convinced Percy Abbott to come here, right? Yeah. And then yeah. they set up Abbott's magic here. Blackstone was from here. Harry Blackstone Jr. was born and lived here. And that's how this town got the moniker of the uh, magic capital. Of the world. Okay. Oh. Now, how many, uh, uh, so like, I don't know the correct term, the, uh, how many, um, manufacturing? Right now in this town, there are four magic stores. Okay. And two uh, magic theaters and one other theater that is more of like a community theater. But, that's most states don't even have one decent magic store in the whole state. Okay. And this store has, or this, this town has four of the pretty much most amazing magic stores you'll ever go in. Okay. In the, in August, they do something called the Abbott's get together here. And how many people come into town, Kurt? Well, that well, typically it used to be about a thousand to 1200. Yeah. Wow. And all magicians. Wow. Like double the community size. Cause there's only about a thousand people. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's in August. And, Actually, this August, they're doing, they're trying to, and it's uh, a bunch of the guys from Las Vegas, because they're not doing much work, so Lance Burton, oh, yeah. and some of the really good magicians are coming out. Cool. I'll have to bring my dog and rods up. Yeah. But yeah. That room, that room, though, no. I'm okay here, but that room I couldn't breathe in. I felt suffocated, <clears throat> and I was getting dizzy. 
I'll have to do some some major research. And then when I first Maybe got in here, I felt something. And you guys are welcome to come heart. back at another time too. Okay. You know, if you're ever like, you know what, I want to come. Yeah, whatever. Maybe, uh, We're all maybe the now. priest had a breathing <laughs> problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody had yeah. a heart issue downstairs, I can tell you that. Well, I'm oh. going to pretty much step outside and just juggle and practice and let you guys do your thing, you know? Okay. Um, Kurt's going to just video and right. hang out. He's okay. a, Kurt's a professional videographer. He's been doing it his whole life. His wife has a... Uh, a cooking show that was really big in Texas called Cooking with Carol. Well, it was big everywhere, but they were big. And uh, so he's video that okay for the past 20 years and you know, all kinds of sporting events and stuff. Uh, and now he does uh, all the videoing for all the magic shops pretty much around here. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so, all right, so I'll turn off this video.